We all recognize Panera for their great soups, salads, sandwiches, and of course breads. But unfortunately, Panera is also well known for their hefty price tag. Welcome to Restaurant Recipe Recreations, everybody. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make the Panera egg souffles right in your very own kitchen and do away with the expensive restaurant bill. And I'm even going to show you two different versions of this recipe. One is the bacon, cheddar, and spinach, and the other one that I'll be showing you is the spinach, artichoke, and Italian cheese blend. And these egg souffles are perfect for any upcoming Easter brunch that you may be hosting in your home. We're gonna get started right now. But before we do, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my viewer, Mama Bear. This video happens to be a request recipe from her, so Mama Bear, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you happen to have a restaurant or a recipe that you would like me to feature in an upcoming episode, then go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. I promise I take a look and respond to every single one of my requests. But make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when your video comes up, you'll be notified just like Mama Bear. All right, let's get started. Okay, first up, we're going to get the souffle filling ready for the spinach and artichoke version. I have here a bag of frozen spinach that's been thawed, obviously, uh, but it's also been squeezed of all of the excess water. And you can see how dry and crumbly it is. That's what you want. You wanna make sure all of the water gets out because if water gets into your egg mixture, it's gonna make your souffle runny and you can't have that. So start with a third of a cup of the squeezed dry frozen spinach and place that in a microwave safe bowl. Next, you want one third of a cup of canned artichoke hearts that have been drained and chopped. Make sure that your canned artichoke hearts have been squeezed of all the excess liquid as well, because again, you don't want any water in your egg souffle. Next, you want two tablespoons of finely chopped red bell pepper, two tablespoons of very finely chopped sweet onion, one tablespoon of green onion, green parts only, finely chopped, and then finally, one eighth of a teaspoon or one very, very small garlic clove, minced. Now cover this dish with saran wrap and microwave on high for about a minute and a half until the peppers and the onions soften. Once your spinach and artichoke mixture has cooled in a very large mixing bowl, whisk the mixture with five large eggs, one half of a cup of Italian cheese blend, which is a mix of Romano, Asiago, and Parmesan cheese, one fourth of a cup of freshly grated extra sharp white cheddar, two tablespoons of Neufchatel cheese, three tablespoons of whole milk, and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And whisk these ingredients until well blended. And now to make the applewood smoked bacon, cheddar, and spinach souffle, start with one third of a cup of your spinach that's been squeezed dry of all of the excess water and add two tablespoons of finely chopped sweet onion and one tablespoon of finely chopped green onion, green parts only, and one eighth of a teaspoon or one very small garlic clove minced. And then again, just cover this with plastic wrap and put this in the microwave on high for a minute and a half to soften the onions and the garlic. So once your onions and your spinach have cooled off, add them to a very large mixing bowl. Whisk in five fresh large eggs. One fourth of a cup of your Italian blend with Romano, Parmesan, and Asiago. One half of a cup of freshly grated sharp white cheddar cheese. Four slices of crispy cooked applewood smoked bacon three tablespoons of whole milk, one eighth of a teaspoon of unsmoked paprika, and one eighth of a teaspoon of ground white pepper. Do not add salt to this mixture because you have enough salt in the bacon. And just make sure that all of the ingredients are blended very well. Now that the souffle mixes have been made, we actually need to build the souffles themselves. So preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And I have here a package of Pillsbury Crescent dough sheets. Actually, I have two packages because of course I made two different mixtures. I'm going to bake mine in four inch diameter oven safe dishes. You can use a larger diameter dish if you want to, like a six inch or even an eight inch. You'll just need to bake the souffles for longer. Spray each one of the baking dishes or ramekins with pan spray and set on a cookie sheet. If you're working with ramekins or baking dishes that are four inches in diameter, then cut the dough into six by six inch squares. Gently put the dough into the baking dish or ramekin, allowing the four corners to hang off. Fill each one of your souffle cups with four ounces of the egg mixture, and then fold the corners of the crescent dough over the top of each one of the souffles. If you're making the applewood bacon and cheddar, then top each one of the souffles with a half a piece 
of par-cooked bacon. Now bake in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until the top becomes browned and a toothpick comes out clean. Once these come out of the oven, let them set on the counter for about five minutes or until you can touch the baking dish with your bare hands. And the key to getting these out of the souffle cup or the ramekin is whether or not you used enough of the pan spray. If you did, you should be able to just take a, a butter knife even and just sort of run it along the side and then slide it right out onto your plate. But you know, you don't have to do that either. You could serve them right there in the ramekins. I mean, really, I mean, why not, right? It's less dishes. All right, this is the spinach and artichoke. I know it sounds kind of strange, but the spinach and artichoke actually tastes like there's crab meat in it. But having said that, if you put crab in these, that would just bring it to a whole different level. All right, now I'm gonna go in for the bacon one. Yeah, delicious. Of the two, I think I like the spinach and artichoke the best. But I'm all about equal opportunity, so I'm willing to give the bacon one another shot. Mm. Mm. That's a crunchy bacon. <laughs> yeah, mm. delicious. Moving back over to the spinach and artichoke one. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And Mama Bear, thank you so much for the request. I hope you enjoy the recipes. And for the rest of my friends out there, thank you for watching. And until I see you all again, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers. I love y'all. And for more recipes from Panera, check out right here.